It's kind of fitting that I'm doing this video today because True Blood just started and True Blood is awesome. If you saw the first episode, ah, so glad it's back. Um, but actually, Face Atelier do the makeup for True Blood. Um, Face Atelier give the vampires their deathly pallor with their zero minus shade adjuster and also one of the ultra shears, Opal, I believe. But actually I have a new product from Face Atelier which uh, I'm really, really excited about. Um, nothing to do with vampires or anything, it's these new facade um, cream lip and cheek tints. They're a really, really, really bizarre texture, nothing I've ever felt before. Just a kind of a gel kind of texture. Now Face Atelier describe these as a kind of a liquid but I would say they're a bit more solid than that. They're a, a kind of Vaseline without the grease texture. It's very very weird and very very cool. So basically what the product is, it's a silicone based liquid to powder formula for cheeks and lips. It's ideal for H HD. Um, it's translucent buildable matte colour and it is silky soft and light. These are the basic kind of product blurb of the product. So Face Atelier Facade is pretty much a unique product. Um, Face Atelier do use silicone in their foundation and you see it repeated here. It's not really a new thing. It, what it does do is make the product really really smooth and beautiful to apply. I don't know if, en if any of you have tried the Face Atelier Ultra Foundation, but it's really, really silky and really nice to apply, really, really easy. It just blends beautifully. And this is absolutely no different. So the cool thing about these is the application and texture. That's probably the most important thing for me because I've noticed that when sometimes I apply cream blushes, they tend to disturb the foundation that I've put underneath, especially um, more liquid ones like Makeup Forever HD, which I find um, really difficult to put on my skin. These are just a kind of Vaseline kind of gel texture without any grease in them. They're very very buttery, um, really really nice to apply. They've got quite a lot of slip and they just melt into the skin and lips. They just blend extremely easily. The thing that I did note on Face Today's website is that it has it claims to have a longer drying time than any other kind of cream blushes or lip stains and that's actually pretty accurate. I applied one of these quite offensive looking dark colours. This is Godiva. I applied this on my cheeks the other day. I let it sit there for about three or four minutes and then I started to blend it out and it blended out exactly the same as, as though I literally just put it there. So it, it, it really really does live up to its claims in that respect. They're ridiculously easy to blend and pretty much impossible to mess up. So obviously I haven't actually got my hands on any in the packaging yet. I'm still trying out these and I have been for about two weeks and I've not mainly, not really made much of a dip in them at all. Um, but they do come packaged in a squeezy tube quite similar to the OCC Lip Tar packaging so that you could just squeeze a bit out. It's nice and hygienic. Another thing to note about these is that you really, really don't need very much of these and they're pretty much endlessly buildable. I didn't find at any point that the the silicone in the product kind of, you know when products kind of ball up or almost pill up under your fingers? It didn't happen with this, which I was quite worried it would, but I did apply quite a lot of this to my cheeks and it didn't do anything, so that was the most impressive thing for me. Now, I'm going to get onto the swatches because I think it's only fair to stop waving these around in your face and actually show you. So, one of my least favourite shades, but I don't mind it. Um, this one is Cha Cha and it really, really reminds me of Sleek's Pout Polish in Electro Peach. So there's, there it looks um, most saturated and you can see it just blending out into this really soft wash of colour. This gives me a very kind of sunburned, um, sun-kissed look. It's really, really nice. Okay, the next one is Arabesque. It's a kind of neutrally peach, reddish peach. But it's kind of got a little bit of brown in it. You put that next to Cha Cha. See, it's kind of a brownish peach. And then 
Godiva, which I didn't think I could actually wear, but this looks really good on the cheeks, even on my skin tone. Um, so this was the last one I tried because I was a bit scared of it, but um, it turned out it was pretty good. So it comes out as kind of cherries dipped in chocolate red. Okay, the next one is Livid. Really beautiful blue based red. This is the one I'm wearing right now on my lips. Absolutely adore this one. Probably can't live without it. I, I love it. I just knew I would love it as soon as I uh, looked at the pot. I'm just going to blend it in because it takes me way longer otherwise. It comes up as a pinkish. And the last one is Chameleon, which is one of my other favourites. Beautiful bluish pink. Looks really offensive in the pot, but it's so beautiful on the cheeks. Really lovely pink. So there we go, that is all of the colours. Um, the one that I dislike the most, but I don't hate it by any means, I really haven't got on so well with Cha Cha. I, I find that this gives the least colour on my lips, and if I apply too much, I do get that kind of orange tide mark here. The rest of them I absolutely adore. This one I like a little, a little bit less. I did, I wanted to show you how they blend actually gonna get a colour like Godiva and gonna show you how little you need. I've got quite a decent whack there and I'm just gonna blend it through. <laughs> and now you can see how much of a, f a surface area I've just covered with a tiny finger tip of this product. So for what kind of wear longevity, Face Atelier say that these will last all day. On my lips that's genuinely not the case. I get about four hours I would say and that's with constantly eating, drinking, um, biting my lips. I've been having driving lessons so I, when I go around, when I go through tight spots or something hard like a roundabout I kind of tend to bite my lips and squeal a bit. So. Um, I've been wearing them a lot at my driving lessons for some reason. Um, so they are moisture re resistant and sebum resistant as well, but where I get four hours on the lips, I get all day on the cheeks. It just it just lasts. There's no effort, there's no touch up, there's, it's just done. It's great. It's really, really, really good. Um, the thing that I do find about the lips is that it, although it's non-drying, I mean it's a really slippery silicone buttery texture which kind of melts into your lips when you apply it. You'll see what I mean if you ever manage to get your hands on these. Um, I do find that they kind of, they can accentuate dry patches on my lips. Um, I tend to get like dry bits around here and sometimes it can just stick to that but I think that's the same with any lip product. So the main kind of pros and cons and special features and you know bells and whistles of these products um, I think the best thing about these actually, and this hadn't occurred to me until I was looking at the Face Tele website, you can mix these. You can get some pretty awesome colours. I mixed um, Chameleon, this pink, and Livid, and that looked really pretty. And I did have a nice go at mixing Cha Cha with Livid to kind of get a more sunburnt uh, summery look, which was really really pretty so mixing them they're kind of like the OCC lip tars in that way I think the best thing about them as well is that they're really matte there's no shimmer there's no shine and they just really just gently stain the skin and they're very very beautiful they look almost kind of watercolorish it's really really pretty I think that one of the main cons about these products is that the colors look really really scary I mean this kind of bright orange color looks quite offensive actually. I mean as soon as you've blended them in they look absolutely beautiful but the colours look really really terrifying and they're not really a true reflection of what the colours are. Um, the other thing is that if you, unless you use a lip brush you're going to end up with a stained finger like me um, but if you use Benetton or things like that then you pretty much expect that anyway so it's not really a big deal. So basically my conclusion on these products is that I absolutely love them. I don't know if I'll buy all of the colours but I think it's kind of a Pokemon thing that um, 
once I've got one I'll kind of want them all. Um, I know that I'm especially impressed by Chameleon which is just beautiful. I wear this on the lips and cheeks all the time with grey eyeliner, beautiful. And then Livid, just absolutely stunning. And then kind of a surprise for me was Godiva which I didn't think would like me at all but actually it just gives a really kind of neutral pinkish blush across my cheeks and um, just a brownish red across my lips. It's really, really beautiful. So for me, I absolutely adore these products. I was gonna say if you've got any questions or anything, but then I thought, I had a thought, um, if you want to try these, I know that the faceatelier.com website actually do these samples. You can buy a sample for about a dollar Canadian, I think. I will link you to the website so you can have a look. It's rare that I get a product that actually surprises me so much and that I love that much. I wasn't expecting a lot from these. I've heard they were good, but I wasn't really, I didn't really know what to expect for them, and they're pretty much awesome, and I don't, th I think my makeup collection is now lacking, and I'm probably gonna have to go and spend a bit of money. So if you've got any questions, or you wanna know something, um, feel free to comment below, and I'll try and answer your questions. But basically, these are awesome, and I'm in love. Um, I'm gonna have a blog post up with separate swatches, when this video goes up, so if you want better swatches, you should go over there. Lip and cheek swatches, my whole face, smiling. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone now. Hopefully you enjoyed this and found it useful.